So I'm very curious, is, where's the line for you with partiality? Emily Maitlis has, has raised a lot of questions about it. Gary Lineker, mm -hmm. there was in the news again this week. What do you think? There's a long time well, BBC timer. Gary's in a slightly different category because he doesn't work for news. And right. that's the argument that he's able to have a bit more freedom to make these quite opinionated tweets. Do you tweets. accept that? Or does it make life difficult? I accept it because it's the rules. I follow the rules, mate. I right. mean, I do. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the director general, my boss, said to, uh, in uh, the, uh, that committee the other day at Parliament that I think it was a work in progress. Mm. I don't know what he means by that. Maybe he's going to have a chat with him. But, I mean, clearly it's controversial for mm. some people. Um, on the, the whole business of impartiality, journalism is about truth. Mm. It's about getting to the truth, and it's about how you get to it. Now, on a, this is a very opinionated programme. Yeah. You see, in, it's, in, it's written, you know, it's, it's a Ron Seal title. Yeah. So you, you get what you can see on the tin. Yeah. You get what you can see on the tin with the BBC as well, which is not my opinions. It's not about me. It's not about... It's Yes, it's my analysis and my observation, and I use my own eyes and my ears, and I might even, in the right context, talk about something that happened to me if, it's, if it illuminates mm. the wider issue. And in the course of that, what impartiality means, in my head, and I think in the BBC's as well, is that... We've all got views. I mean, mm. my God, as I get older, my views get yes, stronger. I've had lunch with you. you. You make me look like a shrinking violet, but you yeah. don't do it on camera. Well, no, I'm not high. Maybe if they paid me what you <laughs> pay you, peers, I don't know. But the thing is, is that um, I, I think that at the BBC, it's quite clear, whatever your views are, you stick them in a box on the door, you pick them up on the way out. When, when you saw Emily make this thing on Newsnight, which causes the problem, about Dominic Cummings. Did, oh, you, feel, yeah. did you feel it, it crossed a line? Yeah, that? I did, actually. Um, did I think it? that it wouldn't have taken a great deal for it to be, stay on the right side of the line. Um, because, you know, if you, you, you cannot say this, we all think that, effectively, is what she was saying. Because, mm. actually, probably some people didn't think that. Mm. I think if she'd written it a little bit more cleverly, if she'd said, everybody's talking about this, this is what people are saying. I mean, some of you out there may disagree, mm. but you know, the, out, the country's up in arms about Dominic Cumming. I think a lot of people were. But it was the way she said it and in the context that she said it and in the, you know, the, the top of uh, doing a kind of soliloquy mm. at the top of a big-time BBC News programme was not considered appropriate. And I think it was appropriate for the bosses to have a word with her after that. Interesting. She didn't like it, clearly, and now she's got another job. Well, I was going to ask you, I mean, there's been a lot of people leaving the BBC, mm -hmm. you know, from Emily mm -hmm. to Andrew Neil to Andrew Marr, all these people. And lots of people you haven't heard of who have um, taken redundancy and various things. Is there any check that could tempt you to unleash yourself as an opinionated monster? I'm a BBC man through and through, you know that, Piers. I think you are. <laughs> I think you are, aren't you? I am, I am, and... Uh, you know, if someone came in and made me a life-changing offer, who knows, I'd consider it. But actually, at the moment, it's been nearly 40 years, so, you know, I only know one way to work. And do you know the most disgraceful thing I discovered today about you? What's that? You don't have any honour. Nothing. <laughs> Not even an MBE. How can that be? I don't, I don't make this One decisions. of the greatest correspondents in BBC history. Not well, even an MBE. An MBE's pretty good. Yeah, but you walk around your newsroom and you see all these people with honours. They don't wear them to the office or anything. No, but I mean, that would get I went my... to I went to a state dinner once and I saw some dip for... Uh, it was for the King of Jordan at the Guildhall. Stop name-dropping. So, you know I hate name-dropping. <laughs> no, you'd never do it. <laughs> and suddenly, all of these people who had known diplomats at the Foreign Office were just yes! dripping with medals and things on sashes around their necks. Would you like uh, uh, something? The recognition of your work? Quite happy as I am. If I launch you. a campaign on social media uh, to... Go ahead. You never see, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs>